everybody. Thanks for checking out the video today. If you're watching on Facebook, please like the post if you like it, share it if you like it, and follow our page. And if you're on YouTube, please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I want to talk to you today about rules versus relationship. This is one of the big themes in uh, my book, The Unhealed Believer, What to Do When You've Done It All. And it's really uh, foundational for any believer to receive any of the promises of God. You know, for a, a long time, and I'll just speak in generalities here, but for a long time, um, I was doing things because I felt like I had to. Uh, you know, I, I took the faith that my dad taught me, uh, the lessons about faith, and I turned it into works. So I would read and I would pray and I would do all these things, but it wasn't based on faith. It was works. It was trying to earn, you know, the love of God, earn the acceptance of God. And I think a, a lot of people um, grow up longing for the acceptance of their father. Maybe their father loves them, but doesn't show them. They know that they're loved, but they don't show them or they don't say it, or maybe your father was absent, or maybe your father um, was not absent and he was abusive. Or So what I'm saying here is we take our experiences and we view God through these experiences and we treat God the way we would treat our earthly father. So if you um, knew that your father loved you, but he never really showed you you're gonna work really hard to earn that encouragement, to earn those comments, to earn, uh, you know, that attaboy or, you know, good job, uh, that, that sort of thing. You're gonna work to earn that. And then that's the way you'll look at your heavenly father. You will work to please him. You'll work to be accepted by him. If your father is, if your father was uh, distant or absent or just gone, you might find yourself asking, God, are you even there? And then you respond and you act and you treat the word according to how you're viewing God. I think a lot of times we assign characteristics to God that are not in his nature based on our experiences. We view the word of God and we view God through the lens of our experience as opposed to viewing our experience, experiences through the lenses of God. Very important distinction there. And until you have a proper understanding of God, until you have an intimate relationship with him, you will always be working to please God instead of being pleased to work for God. You will always find yourself exhausted in work as opposed to being refreshed in the work. There is work to be done, but that work, that profitable work, that, that work that uh, uh, energizes you, that's going to come through faith in God. You don't work to try to build faith. Your faith will produce those works. Relationship. Relationship is what it's all about. Everything that I ever teach, everything that I ever do should always point back to God and point back to relationship with God because that's what he sent his son for. You know, he said, uh, six, John 16, 3, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus defines everlasting life in John 17, 3, when he says, this is eternal life, that they might know the Father and know me, the Son. Eternal life is knowing God. Again, not just being able to identify the characteristics and who. I mean, I can pick out movie stars or I can pick out, you know, people at my church, but I don't know them intimately. This is what Jesus died for so that you could have an intimate relationship with him. And guys, as you pursue 
him, as you pursue an intimate relationship with him, all the benefits of a relationship with him just become yours. They, they will start to manifest in your life. As you have your eyes focused on God, you are seeking God, you're just going to kind of run by healing. You're just going to kind of run by prosperity. You're going to run by freedom and you're just going to start experiencing these things. Because it is, it is knowledge, intimate wisdom and knowledge and revelation of him that leads to all of the other benefits that come from that intimate relationship. The closer you are to the light, the more the darkness has to flee. Darkness cannot stay in the place of light. Sickness cannot stay in the place, uh, in, the, in the presence of God. Debt cannot stay in the presence of the prosperity of God. Running towards God will break off all of those shackles, will break off all of those chains that have held you and are holding you now, including sickness. It's an intimate relationship with him. It's a pursuit of him that is all encompassing of everything else. A man once said that rules without relationship equals rebellion. And that is so true because when you have rules and you don't have a relationship with someone, you will end up running from that person. That's what, that's what happened to, that's what happened to me. I knew all the rules. I knew everything I should do, but I didn't know God. And because I didn't know God, I rebelled for a really long time. I share a lot of that mess with you, a lot of that ugly with you in the book, because I want you to see that no matter how bad it has gotten, there is a way out for you, that God is there, that he has a way out for you, that there is healing for your body, there is healing for your marriages, healing for your children, for your relationships. Healing is there for you. And it's all about relationship, guys. I think it's all I've got for you this week. I love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing weekend. You have an amazing week to come. And I'll see you next time.